Hello. Hello. Whoop, I didn't say hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Crafty Lou. Yay! Rianne's in charge today. No, she's not really. She's yes, just I am. <laughs> yeah, okay, she is. <laughs> she's in charge today. Um so today we decided well I decided one night when we were playing darts, hey, we have many patterns of dart flights that we don't really like and will never use and probably just throw away and do nothing else with. So why don't we paint them? <laughs> I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the designs, but we have like a really particular taste in designs. We did a sample one. Uh, mine, I'm going to be using the blue ones. And we tested to see um, if we needed to. Why am I doing that? If we needed to sand it or not sand it. She was going to do fruit, but I couldn't think of any other idea, and I didn't want us both to do fruit because that would be a bit boring. Those are my three. As you can see, these are my sort of ideas. I did these two straight off, and then I debated a bit for the third one what would go with and i decided i want to do this one this one and this one later on in a different way maybe so you're doing one fruit three. per flight aren't you so yeah. for all four sides you'll have the one fruit i want it to look a bit continuous and mine's a bit different these were her mine. original ideas yeah and this is what she's going this is what it? i've decided with so each flight will have one Why side have will be four? that one side will be that one side will be that and one side will be that. So how heavily did you sand it? Not too heavily, just, just a little bit really. You see the texture difference now? I think you can pick it up there. You can see on the A, the top of the A there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I started playing after not playing for a while. Because for yes, Gallon. We're actually in a league. All together. In the Gallon or all together? All together, we're third all together, if I remember right, they might be different now. Yeah, joint third with two others, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But we do quite well, I think. And we have special shoots and it's all professional. Mm. What it looks like when you pop it up. So this is like what we're working with. Then you put this bit on your dart and then you throw it. We haven't got our darts with us right now, but yeah. Right, so I found the colour. I wanted it to be a bit pinkier originally, but we don't really have that. Oh, no. <laughs> it's picking up. Wait, you should put white down. Because those. That might be alright because there's only a white background, so. Ooh, that's a good time. The white first. Ah, now I've rubbed out my pencil marker and that. So I've just done some white around the outside, so I'm just going to wait for that to dry now. Right, let's see if this yellow works any better. Oh yeah, it's definitely picking up better on the white. Oh wow, that's might, nice. Might need a couple of layers. But what colour are you going to colour the leaf? It's uh, going to be autumn themed, so it's going to be autumn colours. Which is? Bits of red and I thought you said you weren't going to do detail. No, just a colour, but like not anything. Not like shadows and, you know. Dogs. Very funny. Inside joke, because... Don't explain. My eldest daughter's got a dog and it's called Shadow. And he's a sweetheart. Uh, that's my first layer down. Over to Rianne. Oh, well, there we go. That looks nice and white, it out, doesn't it? And I'm going to go in with this and hope for the best. I'm not doing the red one right now, I'm letting that dry. Okay, I'm just colouring in around the edge. With this one, I use this yellow. But I think it looks a bit patchy, so I want to try this yellow this time. Oh, thanks. So you had the patchy problem too, and you didn't think to bring it out to me. What? The patchy problem. No, just with that particular one. Yeah. Thank you. 
I made a mistake, so I had to paint over the middle bit because I made the middle bit white and then that was not my plan and I don't like how it looks, so here we go. Here's to hoping this will work, but it might work better now. I don't know. Make it seem a bit better. This this looks really light right now, but it gets darker when it dries. Although it looks good as it is now. It dried really quick. Satisfying, hey? It looks really good. Kiwi. I'm going to start the other one now. So this is the second coat I'm doing of the rind. I forgot to film it first and I'll do the green on top. So, it's all nice and dry now, and I really like how this one turned out. Right, so that took a lot longer than I thought, but here it is. Oh. In all its glory. So, these are our three each. Like, there you go. Vanish them was with um, gel varnish. So I'm thinking it might give it a tougher, harder... We did have this one if we wanted to do glossy, but I was thinking mine would look a bit better matte. I don't know why, I just like how it looks now. UV. UV. Look how quick it dries. Yay, look, all done. Yeah. We ended up using the this one because I did the, try the gloss on one of mine and it mucked it up a bit so my favourite probably not very practical but I might make this one like professionally in order so, so I have a few Set. of these yeah so, so there they are so now we're gonna go try them out Okay, so we hope you enjoyed watching our video customization of the dark lights. Orianne's brilliant million pound idea. <laughs> it's a bit different. Everybody's doing iPhones and iPods and everything else. So we thought we We're would poor. be a bit cheaper. Poor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so ours are flights. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. It's a bit of fun. And we know they're not exactly practical but it's not supposed to be. No. It's supposed to be. We're not going to use them anyway. Might as well make them something you like to look at. Yeah. And they were fun. That's the main thing. Yeah. So I hope, again, we hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time on Crafty Leaks. Bye. Bye.